If you've been stung by a bee or a jellyfish before, you will know that it's not a very enjoyable experience. However, there are some stings that are much more serious and can lead to excruciating pain and discomfort. Here are the top 15 most painful stings in the animal world. Number 15. The Maricopa Harvester Ant At first glance, the Maricopa Harvester Ant may not look all that threatening. After all, this species, which is found throughout the southwestern United States, isn't all that big or all that bright. However, its venom truly takes toxicity to a whole other level. That's because its venom has been proven to be 25 times stronger than that of a honeybee and 35 times stronger than that of a western diamondback rattlesnake, which allows it to kill animals much larger than itself with only about 10 stings. And while this may seem like a tall order, these ants often manage to pull this off by releasing chemical signals to alert their colony to all sting their victims en masse, making the possibility of them killing their enemy a very likely reality. To make matters worse, due to them often sticking to their victims using their mandibles, they in fact have the ability to sting a victim multiple times. However, when you consider that it would take about 350 stings to bring down an adult human, so long as you can escape after the first bite, chances are you'll get out of a Maricopa Harvester ant attack alive. Number 14. The Crown of Thorn Starfish While this spiked starfish species may look pretty, let this be a warning to you that it becomes a lot less beautiful when its thorns are sticking out of your arm. Now, this starfish is found throughout the Indo-Pacific region and is known for being very brightly colored and filled to the brim with spikes. It's these very spikes that makes the crown of thorn starfish one of the most dangerous starfish out there, as the spikes can detach from its body and release an extremely painful neurotoxin into its victims. Now, the issue with these spikes is that they can very easily pierce through a wetsuit, and once in the victim's body, their venom typically will cause nausea, infection, intense pain, and swelling that can last for more than a week afterwards. As a result, we suggest you keeping your hands off this beautiful creature if you ever decide to go on a scuba diving excursion. Number 13. The Arizona Bark Scorpion if you ever happen to come across an Arizona bark scorpion while in the desert of Arizona, then we suggest quickly moving in the other direction. That's because these nocturnal scorpions are considered to be one of the most venomous in North America, as their sting packs a poison that typically leads to severe pain that lasts anywhere between 24 and 72 hours. Now, typically speaking, the impacted limb will often experience convulsions and numbness, with victims often likening the sensation to being jolted by a bolt of lightning. However, its sting, thankfully, does not often lead to fatalities in adults, although deaths are more common in children and the elderly and those with compromised immune systems. Yet due to there being an antivenom that's widely available, these scorpions have become a lot less dangerous in recent years. Number 12. The Executioner Wasp While its name is definitely a dead giveaway, it should come as no surprise that the Executioner Wasp is capable of delving out some serious pain. And while its sting is not considered to be deadly, it is easily one of the most painful out there, as even wildlife expert Cody Peterson, who makes a living off getting stung by insects for audience on YouTube, declared it to be the most painful sting he'd ever experienced in his life. Now, this wasp is found throughout South and Central America, and generally speaking, it's not known to be overly aggressive. However, if it does decide to sting you, then you can expect to be in pain for multiple days, as its sting will not only cause swelling in the area, will also often lead to tissue necrosis around the site of the sting, which essentially means that your skin will begin to rot where the wasp's stinger punctured your skin. As a result, we recommend staying far away from this insidious insect. Number 11. The Yellow Fat Tail Scorpion Although the Yellow Fat Tail Scorpion may not look too intimidating at first glance, its terrible toxins can have you running to the hospital in a matter of minutes. That's because this species, which has the scientific name of Androctonus, or man-killer, when translated from Greek, possesses one of the most powerful neurotoxins found in a species of scorpion. That's because it packs a fast-acting venom that attacks the central nervous system, causing paralysis and, in some cases, death via respiratory failure. As a result, if not treated with anti-venom within two to seven hours, fatalities often occur. As such, if you ever find yourselves in the desert of North Africa or Southeast Asia, we suggest keeping an eye out for these crafty creatures. Number 10. The Blue Spotted Ribbon Tail Ray While Blue Spotted Ribbon Tail Rays are generally docile by nature, if you do manage to rile one up, then the resulting sting can be deadly. After all, this was the very same animal that killed famous adventurer and animal activist Steve Irwin back in September of 2006, when one stung him in the chest and pierced his thoracic wall as he was filming in Australia's Great Barrier Reef. 
Now, this species is found throughout the Indian and Western Pacific Oceans and is rather small in size as it only grows to lengths of about 35 centimeters. However, if its blue spots weren't warning enough, its massive stinger is meant to dissuade predators from attacking it, as it prefers to avoid fights rather than get in the thick of them. However, if threatened, it'll make use of its stinger, and if it pierces your skin, it could very well be fatal. As a result, despite them being one of the most popular aquarium stingrays due to their small size, we suggest steering clear of them next time you're at the pet store. Number 9. The Platypus At first glance, the platypus may seem pretty goofy. After all, not only does it have a duck bill and webbed feet, but also has the distinction of being the only mammal to both lay eggs and have a venomous stinger. As a result, it was deemed as so ridiculous that many British scientists believed it to be a hoax upon its discovery in the 1700s. However, for those who have an unfortunate encounter with the animal, they can attest that it is very real. That's because the male platypus tends to create venom during the mating season that can be delivered via spurs in its hind legs. And while it's only used in defensive situations, the venom is known to be excruciatingly painful, as it often causes a number of side effects which include, but are not limited to, lower blood pressure and increasing blood flow around the wound. However, you'll be glad to note that while the venom is sometimes known to affect people to a minimal extent for many months, and in some cases even years after an incident, it is non-lethal, and thus you'll not have to fear for your life after coming into contact with a platypus. Yet due to the venom's unique ability to not respond to morphine, you can unfortunately expect your recovery to be extremely painful. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Box Jellyfish Out of all the animals on this list, few stings are quite as deadly as that of the box jellyfish. Now, this species comes in in 51 known varieties, with all of them being similar due to the fact that they all have a near transparent, squarish, and box like bell and have tentacles that can grow up to 3 meters in length. Now, the more dangerous species of box jellyfish are primarily found in the warm tropical waters of the Indo Pacific region, with Australia being a hot spot for box jellyfish stings. As a result, beachgoers are the primary victims of these jellyfish, and the sting can be deadly. This is because once a tentacle of the box jellyfish adheres to skin, it pumps nematocysts with toxin into it, causing agonizing pain that often leads to scarring and, if enough tentacles make contact, a deadly dose of venom. Therefore, in order to protect against this nasty jellyfish, it's recommended that divers wear a good diving suit, as the stingers do not react to physical touch, but rather only activate after having a chemical reaction with bare skin. As a result, we suggest maintaining a hands-off approach when near these incredible creatures. Number 7. The Indian Red Scorpion While there are many scary scorpions out there, few are as quite as frightening as the Indian Red Scorpion, as it takes the cake for being one of the deadliest scorpions in the world. Now, this species is found throughout India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka, and at a length of about 5 to 9 centimeters, it's quite small in size. However, what's not small at all is its sting, as the venom within it is not only known to cause severe symptoms such as abnormal heart rhythms, pink froth, muscle convulsions, and unconsciousness, but also to have a fatality rate of between 8 to 40 percent. This is because its venom affects the cardiovascular and pulmonary system quite quickly, and unfortunately seems to not respond to scorpion antivenom. As a result, it's recommended that if you're stung by one, you seek out prazosin, which is a medication used to treat high blood pressure. This is because the medication reduces the mortality rate to less than 4 percent, making the sting a lot less deadly. Yet what is interesting about this scorpion is that despite its lethality, it is in fact often kept as a pet. However, if you ever consider buying a pet scorpion, we suggest staying away from this species and instead choosing one that's a little more docile and a little less deadly. Number 6. The Warrior Wasp If you want to be stung by an insect that is as fierce as the name suggests, then look no further than the Warrior Wasp. That's because this incredible insect, which inhabits the rainforests of South and Central America, is known to have a sting that is excruciatingly painful. Now, this wasp typically lives in large hives and gets its name due to the loud drumming sound that the wasps will make if their nest is threatened. And this drumming sound is similar to that made by marching soldiers. And while they won't go out of their way to bother humans, if you disturb their nest, they will attack you en masse, and they will even go so far as to chase you until you run away. Now, the thing is about its anti-venom is that not only does it give you an extremely sharp, stinging sensation, but it also seems to contain serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter known for its role in feelings of well-being and happiness. However, the warrior wasp manages to turn these feel-good feelings on their head, 
as when it stings, the serotonin falsely signals the victim's brain to constrict their blood vessels as if they've had a serious gaping wound, causing severe pain. As a result, it's advisable that you steer clear of their hives if you're ever on a trek through the rainforest. Number five, the tarantula hawk. We'd think you'd agree that out of all the animals on this list, the tarantula hawk definitely has the most intimidating name of them all. That's because while the tarantula hawk is neither a tarantula nor a hawk, it would likely be able to take down either, as its sting is known to be one of the most painful in the world. Now, in case you were wondering, the tarantula hawk is in fact a species of spider wasp, which normally uses its third of an inch long stinger to take down tarantulas. It typically does so as a way to incubate its young, as females will stab a tarantula between the legs, paralyze it, and then cart it off to its nest, where a single tarantula hawk larva will eat it alive for several weeks as it develops. As a result, a tarantula hawk is generally not a threat to humans, and will typically only attack if threatened. However, if you do get stung by one of these 5 centimeter long wasps while in the rainforest regions of Southeast Asia, the Americas, or Africa, then you're best off to just lie on the ground and start screaming. And while this may seem ridiculous, that's exactly what was recommended in peer-reviewed scientific journals. As despite only lasting for between 4 to 5 minutes, the sting is said to be so painful that it impairs all physical and mental control. However, the one saving grace about this sting is that even after it's through, you won't have much to worry about as aside from the possibility of it triggering an allergic reaction, the sting is not dangerous and does not require medical attention. Regardless, we'd recommend keeping your distance if you ever see one in the wild. Number four, the bullet ant. Typically speaking, the name of an animal should give you an idea whether to avoid it or not, and the bullet ant is certainly no exception. That's because this ant, which is only about 18 to 30 millimeters in length, is known to have the strongest sting of any insect in the world. Found throughout the rainforests of Central and South America, these ants typically live in large colonies and will only attack if provoked. However, if they are, they will then rush whatever they see as a threat and will release chemicals that signal other ants in the vicinity to sting repeatedly. Now, the sting itself is described as being a blinding electric pain that's comparable to being shot with a gun, and it reportedly comes in waves that last for as long as 24 hours. This is primarily thanks to its sting having a venom known as panerotoxin, which works to block synapse transmission in the central nervous system. This ultimately leads to not only excruciating pain, but to temporary paralysis, uncontrollable shaking, vomiting, fever, and cardiac arrhythmia, which can only really be temporarily treated by either icing the wound or ingesting pain relief medication. However, as with the tarantula hawk, the pain thankfully remains localized, meaning that no matter how many times you're stung, it's nearly impossible to die thanks to its sting. As a result, bullet ants were often used in coming-of-age rituals by tribes living deep in the Amazon. Regardless, we'd suggest leaving these rituals to the locals if you'd like to make your next tropical vacation a painless experience. Number 3. The Lionfish While lionfish may be a favorite of many aquarium owners, we'd bet that you'd probably not want to see one in your next scuba diving expedition. That's because these fish, which are native to the Pacific and Indian Oceans, but found as a non-native invasive species on the American eastern seaboard, have a sting that's like no other. You see, lionfish sport a grand total of 18 spines that stick out at various angles, with each having the ability to deliver poison via a large stinger. However, what sets the lionfish's stinger apart is that the venom within it is a combination of a protein, a neuromuscular toxin, and a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. These work together to deliver a sting that's effects last for days, with the most common symptoms being extreme pain, sweating, respiratory distress, and even paralysis. To make matters worse, if you happen to have an allergic reaction to the sting, there is a chance that you could even enter cardiac arrest, which is often fatal. Thankfully, though, there are ways to greatly reduce the pain felt by a lionfish sting. One of the most common remedies is to apply heat to the wound so that the venom can break down while also ensuring to take the necessary sanitary steps, such as removing the spine and cleaning the wound. If you follow these protocols, you can most likely treat the lionfish sting without seeking medical attention, although your skin will likely be discolored for about a week afterwards. Regardless, we'd recommend bringing hot water or a heat pack with you if you ever plan to snorkel or scuba in an area that's known to be home to large quantities of lionfish. Number 2. The Stonefish while these fish may be the masters of disguise, we'd recommend keeping an eye out for them on your next ocean adventure unless you want to be in some serious pain. That's because the stonefish, which is found throughout the Indian and Pacific Oceans, is widely considered to be the most poisonous fish on the planet. 
That's because when disturbed, it will release a powerful toxin from one of its 13 dorsal spines, which is often activated if somebody accidentally steps on it. To make matters worse, not only can these fish survive for up to 24 hours out of water, but the amount of venom released when someone is stung is typically proportional to how much pressure is put on the stonefish. As a result, if the full force of a human foot is applied, the amount of venom that will come out is often massive. Now, the actual type of venom that's discharged is known as a verocotoxin, and it has the ability to not only induce intense pain, but also respiratory weakness, damage to the cardiovascular system, convulsions, and paralysis, and at times this eventually leads to death. This is primarily because this toxin is known to both destroy one's cell membranes and lower the white blood cell count of an affected person, making their wounds especially difficult to cure. However, if you are in fact stung by a stonefish, there are a number of treatments available. One of the most common is to apply heat to the infected area, as this can break down the toxin and help it to dissipate. You can also try to use an antivenom, and there are some effective ones that are available. Yet in either case, we recommend calling an ambulance ASAP. Number 1. The Death Stalker As you might expect from a creature with such a name, the Death Stalker has a venom that's more than capable of killing the average human. After all, these scorpions, which are found throughout northern Africa and the Middle East, are a force to be reckoned with, because despite averaging out to just 58 millimeters in length, the Death Stalker can travel at speeds of up to 1.3 meters per second in order to sting its victims. And it appears that the poison within the stinger packs an excitatory neurotoxin that amplifies your nervous system's reaction to it. As a result, the sting typically causes not only intense pain, but muscle convulsions, high blood pressure, and eventually organ failure. Due to its unique nature, the toxin often leads to many other complications, such as pancreatitis and pulmonary edema. And although a number of antivenoms do exist, the toxin unfortunately has a tendency to resist treatment, and thus requires a patient to be hospitalized and pumped with large quantities of the available antivenoms in order for treatment to work. However, if this doesn't occur, then the sting can be deadly. And while completely healthy adults typically do not die from these stings, death stalker attacks unfortunately often lead to a high mortality rate amongst children the elderly, and those with pre-existing medical conditions. Yet despite the Death Stalker's toxicity, it should be noted that its toxin is starting to see a lot of alternative uses that, ironically enough, may help heal people of various ailments. That's because a component of the Death Stalker's venom that's known as a peptide chlorotoxin has shown potential for being able to treat human brain tumors. To top this off, there has been some evidence that has proved that the other components of the Death Stalker's venom may be able to aid in the regulation of insulin, and thus could be used to treat diabetes. As a result, the Death Stalker may just be one of the only life savers and life enders on this list. Watch our Animals Playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.